Evening folks. So I've decided to start a video tutorial series um, to basically like to get started with Unreal Engine. Uh, so what we're going to do now, we're going to we're going to start a blank project, but you, you, we do have templates here, but we're not going to use these today. So if you just click blank project and click next, and then we'll click and I think I think we'll keep everything as is there with the start content and what have you. So we'll. We'll rename the project to video video tutorial FPS. Uh, yeah, we'll go with FPS. And then you can just click create project. So we're going to create a new folder and we'll rename the folder main folder. And we'll keep it a little bit organized. Now we'll go into the folder and we'll right click, go to blueprint class, and we'll select character. We'll rename the character blueprint as BP which is blueprint underscore FPS FPS character and yeah we'll go with character now if we double click on it it should open up it might take a second and just drag it to the top we'll make it a full screen so we have as mesh here but we're not going to use that right now but if you select it add component and then we need to search for our spring arm now, a spring arm is we're going to attach the camera to this next. So we could just click, click spring arm again and we'll uh, search camera. And then select this it's the camera one, not the scene camera. Um, so select spring arm. We're now going to adjust the camera. Well, we'll adjust the spring arm, which the camera is attached to. It's the child of the spring arm. So if we just select spring arm, move the character up to. Six, no, we'll, I think we'll go with 55. So we'll just. Adjust the snap a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fifty-five should be good, I think. So, right, if we go to target arm length and we set that to zero, now that should position the camera right over the character. Use con use palm control rotation needs to be ticked. So if you just make sure you tick that and compile and save, we'll then go back to the main screen. Now, what we'll do, I. I think we'll go. We'll start. We'll we'll create the inputs. So if we go up to, no, I think it is is it edit and then uh, project settings. So we'll go find that down to input and then click action mappings. And we want to make two action mappings jump. And then we'll set that to spacebar. So search spacebar for keyboard and then we'll do an interaction. So interact. Oh, interact. We have interact, and then we'll select that. Set that to E F. We'll go with F. Um, now we need to create the axes mappings, which is the mouse and keyboard. So let's create two for that particular one. So we'll start with horizontal. Mm -hmm horizontal movement so that'll be keyboard so we need to set the input so we'll go with W no I mean sorry A and then we'll go with D so that's strafing left and right we need to set the scale for A to minus 1 so that it sort of goes in the opposite, opposite direction now we need to create new action mapping which will be Vertical movement. Need to create an extra one for that too as well. So then we'll set that to W, which is keyboard, and then S. Find keyboard. Uh, yep. We are going to have to set the S to a minus. So it's in the opposite direction again. So, so we'll create two more axes mappings uh, for mouse movement. So we want mouse horizontal, and so that in a minute we'll, we'll mouse vertical. Now, if we select mouse horizontal, I will find search for mouse X, and then mouse vertical it wants to be mouse Y. I think I'm happy with that. So, 
Yeah, yeah. Um, so now we're going to create the actual inputs within the character. So I think we'll start with. Um, if you right click, search input mouse or horizontal, and then select axes events mouse input. And then you right click again, and we need to search for input mouse vertical. And we'll select mouse vertical event. Now, if we drag off axis value, and then search for add controller your. And then same so again for uh, vertical, except this time we need add controller. Pitch. Oh, sorry, which is there then? Select pitch. Now that's that's already the mouse set up. So just organize this a bit. So if you just select it all, press C, and then we can comment around it as well to keep it things a bit tidier. So we'll call it mouse input. So we'll compile and save. Now, as clear as character. As mouse works now, it moves up and down, left and right, so we can look around basically. So, if we do the keyboard next, I'll just delete these. I don't think we're going to be using them for now. Now, if we right click and we search input, input axes, no, uh, yeah, input axes horizontal, and we want horizontal movement. And we'll do the same again, but this time for vertical. So input axes vertical. And then we want vertical movement. I'll just move them down a bit. So we'll start with horizontal. And then we'll pull out an axes value. And we'll search add movement input to that. Now, we do need to do a little bit with this now. So if we drag off a world of direction and search get right vector just move it up a bit and drag off in rotation and we want to make rotator now we'll drag off the z, uh, z no uh, yeah it would no I'd, i think we need to try it uh, right click and then get control we'll get control rotation now we need to right click on the pin and split struct and then drag off return from value Z or the yaw and compile um, yeah so we'll start with now that now that should work um, we'll, so if we just drag off return value and get forward vector this time now we want to copy and paste that so you can just right you can right uh, click on it and just control C and just uh, hook that up to input vertical movement and then well, I basically, it's just well, that's it. It's pretty much straightforward. That it's, it's now working. But I think what we'll do, we'll uh, make it into a fun, into a macro, so it's a bit tidier. So if you just select it all and then collapse to macro, that way we've got less stuff all on the screen. So um, just arrange these a bit now. And we'll do the same of these. We'll so if so, well, we'll rename that first. Just so we'll uh, find it down here. It's macro there. If you right click it and click rename, and we'll name this movement control. Well, that should yeah, control macro. Right, so if, now, if we just uh, com compile and save. Just select it all again and press C and we'll call this keyboard movement and compile save again. Now we just need to now we need to make the character jump. So if we right click, oh, yeah, right click and search input jump and then we yeah, the action event. Now we just drag off pressed and then search jump and it's that simple now your character jumps 
Um, you just select it and press con uh, press C. Uh, and then we'll call, just call it action inputs. Now, let's resize this box. So I'm going to put some more in there. And comment on that, and we'll call it jump. So you, you can have comment boxes within comment boxes, and then recolor them um, to make it look a little bit more organized. And then now we are gonna just for now we're not gonna be using this yet, but we'll add the interact event. So input interact, and we'll just leave that for now. Um, so if we just Keep it a little bit organised and uh, ready for next uh, next video that we're going to be doing. i am just set the colour of these so that we know their inputs. I've, I, I've got an habit of putting inputs in a red comment box. Um, helps it sort of stand out from all other code later on. And uh, right, so now we'll just compile and save, and then. It should be, it should be it should be working now. Um, if you if you right click, and we need to make a game mode now. So if you go to Blueprint class, then click Game Mode Base, and then we'll rename this My Game Mode. Um, and now, if you just yeah, we'll double click on it, and uh, we just need to set the character, the default pawn class, and we need to search for our character, which is BP FPS character. And then compile and save. Now we'll go to project settings, back to project settings, which is under edit if you've crossed it off. Um, now we need to find game mode. Game. Where are you now? Matt, we need Matt. Uh, mm, right in front of my eyes. Maps and modes. Uh, so, um, if we just go to default game mode and we change it to my game mode and then you can just click play and what do you know we have a working character but the controls are slightly inverted at the minute so I think what we'll do we'll adjust that in a second as you can see it's working but, uh, let's just in let's invert the characters controls properly again because it's confusing me um, go to input now we need to find uh, mouse vertical and uh, we'll set that to minus one so that should work now yep there we are so basically I'll we'll get on to the next tutorial a little bit later on this week which will be focused on interaction um, like and subscribe now and then keep up to date thanks a lot guys